Good afternoon, St. Mary's. Uh, you have made it to the video. You're one of the luckiest people in the entire universe because no, nobody knows about this. Very, very few people know about it. And uh, it's up to me. It's my job to really pass along this message of Divine Mercy. Uh, so Divine Mercy Sunday, it comes around once a year. Why is it significant? Why is it more important than other confessions? Uh, you receive a plenary indulgence. Can't you do that all year? Okay, so I'll answer all those questions. Um, so the first one is, what is Divine Mercy Sunday? Jesus appeared to St. Faustina. She was a nun who lived during World War II, uh, has the diary of St. Faustina. So it basically, uh, it is the message of God's mercy that he is giving to us for the end times. That's what he told her. I'm here uh, to prepare you. You are the secretary for the end times, and you are to bring forth this message of mercy to aching humanity. I uh, said he desires to cure our hearts, right? But we have to come to him. Uh, so that was the message. So um, I'll read to you straight from the diary uh, what the what he says, okay? So my daughter told the whole world about my inconceivable mercy. I desire that the Feast of Mercy be a refuge and a shelter for all souls and especially poor sinners. I pour out a whole ocean of graces upon those souls who approach the fount of my mercy, which is confession. I want to... Grant, I want to grant a complete pardon to the souls that will go to confession and receive Holy Communion on the Feast of My Mercy. Whoever approaches the fountain of life on this day will be granted complete forgiveness of sins and punishment. Okay? Um, that soul, the soul who goes to confession and receives Holy Communion will obtain complete forgiveness of sins and punishment. So what is required for Divine Mercy Sunday? There are two. The worthy reception of the Eucharist, so we have to be in the state of grace, and we receive the receive the Eucharist, and then confession on the same day on Sunday. Um, Father mentioned if there's a if there's a situation where your health doesn't allow you, you can do eight days before or after. But in the diary, it says on the day of, right? So if you can make it uh, on that day, uh, then that is super important. Um, what is what is the big deal? Why is uh, I thought when you go to confession. Your sins are forgiven anyways. Our sins are forgiven, but our punishment remains. So I was listening to a person who had a uh, near-death experience, and she said she was judged before the Lord. And she said she didn't even remember most of the stuff, right? But at one point, she said a joke, right? She 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 uh, threw a joke out at a, ch at a child who, you know, just had some sort of, she had a nervous tick or something like that. And... Um, and she said, you know, she said a joke. She didn't think anything of it. Her friends laughed. They thought it was funny. And she said she saw the impact of that single uh, sin. That one thing ended up, you know, leading this child to have, you know, self-conscious issues. She became obsessed with the mirror. She started seeing all these deformities. Even though she was apparently this beautiful girl, uh, she it, it, just, it just caused her an immense amount of pain. And then the decisions that she made after that, she ended up getting into drugs, going to bad friends, all of that, right? All that pain, all that impact uh, came to meet her on the last day, right? So there's one sin, you know, and then that played out to the end of time, right? The impact until the end of time. Uh, that is what a sin is, right? And that's what we'll have to account for on the last day. Um, so uh, what I like Father Troy's explanation of this, so like, if we are forgiven, so that so we can be forgiven of something, but we still have to pay for the damage done, uh, and so that is where Divine Mercy Sunday is extremely significant. This is the only time of the entire year most of us receive a plenary a plenary indulgence, which is basically complete forgiveness of all that and punishment due. Right? We do not have to pay for any punishment, and so it seems unfair, right? It seems like this is. Uh, but it is fair because everybody has this opportunity. There's not a single person that this isn't open to, uh, a single Catholic that this isn't open to. Uh, so uh, it's just up to us if we want to take advantage of it or not. Uh, and so I'd, I like to use the example, if I was given a billion dollars not to go to this, I would literally say no to the billion dollars in a heartbeat. I wouldn't even think about it. If my car broke down, I would run to the service. From here to Paul, I would run there. Right, all of these like man, we cannot fathom what is in store for us. Like no amount of money, no amount of gifts, nothing can compare to Divine Mercy Sunday. Uh, worthy, uh, worthy reception of the Eucharist and a, and, and a good confession. Right, so we have to confess all mortal sins that we've committed, um, and if we've held anything back in the past, 
uh, we 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 have to if if we're in confession. In order for a confession to be valid, we have to say every mortal sin. If we know of one and we hold it back, it doesn't count. The confession's invalid. Uh, so that is something. No, uh, please, 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 for yourselves, do yourselves a favor. I will be there. I'll be the first in line, probably. Um, but I just wanted to share that super important message with you, with you and uh, hopefully you have a great rest of the weekend. All right. God bless you. We'll continue five and six uh, commandments next next week. All right. God bless. Bye.